Hey, I'm Mark Wilson. Um, this go around, we're going to combine two things that I love. And before anybody sends me another message, no, it's not Blanton's and an empty glass. Although that that's a good combo. Okay, not knocking it. No, it's going to be pulled pork and mac and cheese. Great combination, great flavor. Can stand alone as its own meal and has many times before. I'm also going to say this. It goes also great if you just wrap it up in a tortilla as well after it's done cooking. Divine. Uh, pretty basic, pretty simple. I'm going to go through it. Uh, it's going to be a short video, so uh, hang tight. I'm going to come back once the pasta is done. While we wait for our pasta to get done, we've got everything else kind of laid out. Everything's room temperature. We've got our pulled pork we're going to use. Some fantastic barbecue sauce. Butter, flour, it's going to make a little pseudo roux, milk, and uh, cheese. Because if you've been watching any videos, you know I like some cheese. So, what we're going to do is get this going, and then we're going to get this going and get them going at the same time. Um, this will be done first. We'll put this, mix it in with our pasta. This will go in next, and then the planko crumbs, or whatever kind of crumbs you like, um, go on top of that. We'll put it in our casserole dish, and we'll get it going in the oven. We got our skillet going over a medium-low heat with our pulled pork in there. Going to warm it up just a little bit, and when we've got our saucepan over here, waiting to add our pseudo roux stuff to it. Gonna start with the butter. Get that melted down. And then we're going to add in the flour and get the whisk going. Just a roux around here. Let that thicken up and then we're getting ready to really quickly add in the milk uh, to this as well. And we've got our pulled pork and our barbecue sauce mixed up. Now I'm just going to turn the heat off and focus on the roux. We start adding the milk into it. And then Slowly add it in there, stir it. I'm going to get this warmed up. Once it's warmed up, I'm going to start slowly adding in our cheese to it. Okay. I'm going to slowly add in our milk and then we're going to stir this and heat it up until it becomes thickened. Once that happens, it starts to thicken up on us. Especially with that flour and butter combination there. What we're going to do is slowly start to, to whisk in our cheese until it's all melted and then we're going to incorporate that with our macaroni mixture. And then here's our macaroni barbecue. We're just going to move this around and incorporate and get the barbecue moved all the way around the macaroni and get it evenly distributed. Um, while we wait for our milk to thicken up, uh, then we're going to pour that over top of this as well. And here's what you'll see when it starts to thicken up. And at that point in time, you want to begin to bring in your cheese a little bit at a time. And just work to stir it in. We're going to keep stirring it in until it's all nice and melted and then we're going to pour it directly on top of our macaroni and barbecue cheese mixture. Now we poured our cheese into it. Just going to mix it around, get it evenly distributed and then we'll come back and we'll put the panko breadcrumbs on top of this thing and uh, get it in the oven. Generally, what I like to do is make sure it's completely kind of flat and level, no ridges or bumps possible. And then I come across and do like a distribution of salt and pepper. And then I put the breadcrumbs on top of it. So we've got the breadcrumbs put on there. Now next up is putting it in the oven at about 350 degrees. Now if you were to put this in a cast iron skillet, You'd want to account for the fact that it retains heat more than this pan will. Uh, so you'd want to drop the temperature down to 325. Well, let me know what you think about the pulled pork 
Uh, mac and cheese. I think it's divine. It's a meal that can kind of stand on its own. It's a fantastic way to use some leftover pulled pork. So shoot me a message. Uh, cooking with Wilson without the G. Uh, Gmail, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whichever one floats your boat. Yeah. Keep this in mind as well. Um, you know, sometimes you have to let go of the picture that you thought your life would look like and learn to enjoy the, the way the one you currently have. So uh, take care. And the recipe for this and countless others for volume two are available now. Uh, the link is in the description. And uh, until next time.